and there is no compunction about it. I will do something, remember now we have a value framework. So what is the value addition in this particular industry? If the value addition is in design and marketing, I have to capture that space. My manufacturing is going to be more expensive than China. My semiconductors are obviously going to be more expensive than Korea. Or even internet is going to be twice the cost. Control, manage, different kind of manage. So one good thing they also give work licensing. Sorry? One good thing they also give work licensing. Licensing what? I mean they, they, uh, their operating system and all uh, is not for uh, everyone. Like Windows, Windows uh, is uh, available and can be operated by anyone. Other than yeah, because Windows uh, is not a product company. Why the uh, Apple is a product company? Not only that, their products are all they, they are not given licensing for somebody else to use it. Obviously, though, obviously, because I want to sell an Apple computer, but some doesn't do it. I want to sell an iPod, an iPad, and so forth. There again, there is a distinction, but I don't want to preempt that. Uh, Siki Pradhan, uh, probably the last time before he died. He has made that comparison. I think I'll come to that. We will be we will able, able to open uh, YouTube on this. I guess. Huh? Let me try. Let it, no, but I think we we'll need a data card. Uh, their uh, Wi Fi will not work. Huh? Mm. Are you? Okay. Yes, mm. What? YouTube works? No, no, no. 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 It's restricted. YouTube is restricted. Uh, so we will put the data card. Ah. Let me just now uh, go a little faster in this because this is after revision. Huh? This is not the uh, first time we're doing it. Uh, but with an with advantage of hindsight, try to look at the nuances of these frameworks. Right? Now, four phases of strategies are again being divided static, dynamic, your financial planning, developed as an annual budget, and so forth, forecast it next year, few years. Uh, then you start thinking strategically. You put the kind of externally oriented planning. What happens to the environment? What happens to my competition? What happens to technology? What happens to something else? And then, no, I want to even create the future. And these companies we just happen to be mentioning, like the Honda, like the, like the, like the Apple and so on, that I'm going to create the future. Uh, so profitability, basically two determinants. What is the environmental attractiveness and what is the competitive position? If I have a better competitive position, Likelihood, my profits are uh, better, and if the environment is uh, attractive. Now, number of graphs which we have shown, which is data of last about 15, 20 years, but the previous century, mostly USA, we will show that there is identified difference in terms of profitability of different uh, industries. Right? Uh, now, within that industry, there may be a variation. So, to some extent, you are stuck with your competitive uh, industry in terms of the yeah, right. So all these technologies and uh, businesses are coming together. And finally, I think social networks are becoming extremely important. In terms of Google and Apple, compared to other companies. drivers, connectivity, digital technologies, uh, certainly the convergence of technologies and industries, and social networks. Our company also was like that. They actually own iron ores to everything. In the beginning, and obviously, we do get cost of this. All the resources required to create the product was within the company. Uh, uh, and you can think of one consumer experience at a time. Even if you have 100 million, or made by the company. That which is global is produced by now. So, all the content comes from outsiders, they aggregate it and give it to me. So one consumer experience at a time, and in order to serve that one consumer, you get resources from around the globe. This is very different. It's 180 degree different from what? The Honda is mass market and individual customer experience. So I call this any one to one, one unique personalized experience. And all the resources are known. This is very good. Your own music portfolio. But Apple does not create the content. Yes. Neither does Apple produce the device. The device is made in China, the displays come from Japan, 
There's some of them that just come from uh, South Korea. They all put together. The software is owned and the design is owned by Apple. But that's about all. So it's not equal to G. One can see your portfolio at a time. You make your own portfolio business. So this is happening not only. Every consumer is a specialized consumer. So specialized taste, etc., etc., can be met. And the new age companies are doing it, and the old age companies. Now, even though it is research, the new version fellows have done a study on about other companies and very smartly picked up successful companies. Can I take you back to the concept of uh, distinctive competence related to core competence? And I did an analysis in the book which Gary Hamill and Mr. Bernard put out on uh, core competence. And about 20 examples again, 18 companies are not existing. Or in search of excellence, uh, sorry, in search of excellence, the gentleman who wrote it. Now, therefore, A, it is not science. It is empirical, it is observational. Uh, now, your question, uh, in blue ocean strategy is spread like this, like a light of fire uh, in Europe. Now, first of all, it is the NCR school, which is the leading European school. For the first time, they have written a good book on strategy. Though both the authors are also Harvard PhDs. That's why they've gone and published the book to the Harvard Business School. But that's a smart move because Harvard Business School publishing today uh, has a very effective distribution. We were discussing this issue. Uh, I want to download a case tomorrow for teaching. I can do it tonight, this evening. Uh, of course, certainly not uh, circulate to you. Ask for 20 copies, license right. Indians tend to not pay for those 20 rights. Now this is the first issue about any book or learning resources. They want to come to India last. Is it in India there is a project. What about you? Uh, for last uh, almost five to ten years at least, CK Pandahad uh, was very well honored throughout the world and in India also. So most companies used to invite him. Many organizations he used to come uh, without any payment also, uh, including he has gone to Great Lakes uh, in Chennai and did not charge anything. Um, and so you get used to working with a person, it's like a doctor, you know. Uh, Chen and the other lady, uh, she's European, uh, for the first time diverted their effort to China and unexplored market. You know that we don't have any Chinese case studies. It's such a huge uh, and we have hardly anything written on the on the on the Japanese companies by Japanese which we can all the research. So mind you, research is still very, very Anglo Saxon is a bad way of saying it, but it is very American oriented. To some extent you okay, to some extent you are. Okay. So three months. In Seattle, really getting a good book out. So why not create a strategy center? They all have to earn money these days, the management institutes. And then market the concept. Market the concept, like Six Sigma or um, the other things, they have created these uh, uh, certifications for people who can uh, understand and teach uh, to the corporate world. Uh, no science. So it's a very, very well organized <coughs> Consulting firm, like what BCG would have done, like McKinsey would have done with their frameworks. Okay. And then earn money from it for decades together and going to lots and lots of people. Okay. Uh, so, so, so that, this is the marketing of an idea. Uh, and now in India, uh, we still find ourselves confined to the remnants of the license raj and things which are big sectors. We have seen telecom. Now we are seeing coal. I have put out as a blog uh, uh, this new item which came uh, on Lenco. By the way, one of you read that. Either the news uh, in India today or did you read in the blog which I have created on the website? You did not. And you know what the issue is? That there were 11 companies which were floated by Lenco. So Lanco was there and then others were there. And 
and got this concession for solar panels, covering 60% of the whole day. And in January, they got certificates from the department saying that the plants are commissioned. Since you are wanting to talk about energy, and one of you had also on solar energy, the reading of it is so messy, unbelievable. In Karnataka, two thirds of the cylinders are uh, fake names. But the people in whose names those fake cylinders are there, and then they get sold in the market at two times, three times the price. Now you come back. How can somebody confidently invest in gold or telecom? And what strategy we will talk about? When your environment is turbulent, your policy environment is turbulent. And all of this is for one simple reason that the CAG people and the other government accounts people, and I'm not criticizing anybody, I gave a report that the Institute of Financial thing was set up for all the six accounting services. On behalf of Edsil, I was a chief consultant for it. Is that they have never learned managerial accounting at all or management accounting. Shiva point. So when we do the cost analysis, how have they done this thing about foregone revenue? You talk about value addition. If you're government, you can allow me to enter with a smaller amount. More people will be ready to get credit. You can always tax the service afterwards, isn't it? You can charge two rupees for a call. As a tax. For all you know. And you'll collect ten times, twenty times more than what you're claiming about. In other words, there is no research on those things. The company also don't do it. Company go to Jugada, you marry the license somehow. And therefore the whole industry is so stupid. They come when you are in a very advanced industry also. Can't you put up a case on the basis of analysis? And where the market will go? No. So some people do say that which which company strategy are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, Unilever, Indian Unilever? Are you, yeah, they are not told that what is the package size and what should be the price and everything. The London guys tell them. Now, even the executives from here go and sit there and they tell them. That. And uh, other industries you see where is the value addition again. Here there you see the value addition by Siemens and um, other people. Right? Because of the company. So, where is the technological strategy going to be decided? <coughs> so, there is hardly any strategy. <coughs> Having said that, <coughs> the course is meant for younger generations to under understand these things. Just like our researchers who said, Bhogiraj and today is one of the world's leading guy. Just like C.K. Badal was also a student in the first batch there and became a world famous guy. So you, some of you will become world famous. You continue to become world famous. To make your uh, Contribution. So at that time, we call an old man, Professor Kurana, trying to give you a complete perspective and give you sufficient access to these sources so that whenever you feel again, you, you can start one strategy to be ocean with them. Four, four pages are there in terms of how they organize. Yerote will be a talk of the town for quite some time because they've been a great success. Okay, with this, we close um, my session.